standing here in front of the Christmas Story house. Uh, the house opened up in 2006 to fans of the movie. It was purchased by Brian Jones off eBay who is making light lamps. And we offer tours every half hour. People can come in, get in, go inside Ralphie's house. And we talk a little bit about uh, the history of the movie, the history of the house, and what, why it was filmed here, what was filmed or wasn't filmed here. The house is really only used for its exterior look. But what we've done is we've taken the inside and turned it back into what it looked like on the sound stage. So there are a little bit of differences, but we, we do give a tour for all the fans so that we can kind of explain those differences and it gives the fans a little fun kind of things to do while they're going through the house to kind of see those differences. But we had what we did is we spent $250,000 in renovation to bring a larger sound stage back into the original house. In the back of the house there is a black bar shed which is still original. It had a little facelift, but yeah, when you, when you do go inside you can see all the original woodwork. The mailbox out in front of the house is original from the movie as well. And when you're inside, we have the house it can be totally interactive. You can crawl under the sink, you can sit at the table, you can put on replica hats, you can decode your own little secret message up in the bathroom. So all fans of the, all fans of the movie come here, have a fun time, act out their favorite scenes, and just have a fun time with the movie. Here behind me we have the Christmas Story House gift shop. It's newly remodeled. We have roughly about 4,000 square feet. Uh, the gift shop originally started in our museum as a one-room gift shop. We then expanded it into about an 1,100 foot, square foot gift shop. And then this, uh, the demand of people, the amount of products, uh, then this, our, our, our crowds uh, required us to expand again. So we're up to about 4,000 square foot. And in there, people can purchase anything from leg lamps, to night lights. Uh, Department 56 has a whole village that you can create underneath your Christmas tree. Uh, we have pint glasses and magnets and just all the typical souvenir stuff that anybody would want. As you can see from the sign here behind us, we're now in front of the Christmas Story House Museum. Inside here we have props and costumes from the movie. Uh, we have stuff from uh, the hats that the kids wore, Scott Farkas' hat, Randy's hat, and Ralphie's hat. We also have uh, the chalkboard from the school that Miss Shields wrote A++ on. We also have the old man's O fudge jacket where he, that he was wearing when he was changing, uh, changing the tire in the car. We have all the various uh, costumes that Ralphie and Randy wore, including Randy's snowsuit, which is one of our uh, year-round permanent displays. We also have displays that we rotate out from deleted scene ones, like Ming the Merciless and Flash Gordon, which uh, may sound kind of interesting. You may not know what that is, but it was a deleted scene, but we do have those costumes. So that's something fun that people can see that some people may never have even known about. Uh, we also then have over 300 behind the scenes photos that were taken by some extras. Also some that were taken by Ian Petrella who played Randy and also Yano Anaya who played Grover Dill. Uh, we also then do have the really cool map inside where people can put a pin in from where they're from. We've gone through two maps already uh, since we consider we've had almost 300,000 people. And you can see the cluster of uh, areas where people come from. We also then have a sign-in book, so if you can't put a pin in, which most people from the East Coast can't, you can still at least sign in to prove that you were here.